<laughs> okay. All right. Give it 30 seconds. Hold up. Oh, tell you what, guys. I feel like I've had a good meal in that 30 seconds. Now you. I feel nice and full. Tell you what, I'm having a good meal again right now. Whoa. Tell you what. To be fair, I expected that to be different, but it was the same. Okay, let's try it like this. Oh, okay, hold on. Like this. Okay, hold on. Like this. Right, okay, I'm kind of proving my point now, guys. Like this. Come on! Did I just friggin'... Alright, okay, I... I broke the scales. They're on, they're on! Now they're just saying error for God's sake. Right, okay, I give up, but you get the point. You kind of get the gist. Not really been paying much attention to the scales because I look in the mirror and I see a much better, much fuller, much leaner physique than a month ago. Ignore the scales because they can play with your heads, okay? Having said that, I'm gonna get a new set of scales because I literally have no clue what I weigh. <laughs> So as you guys may or may not know, it's summertime right now here in the UK and I have been somewhat known to trim my legs in my time. They get really freaking fluffy. You can't really see, there was a good, good angle of my feet for all you creeps out there. I have been known to trim my legs. I am about to trim my legs again. I haven't done it for a good few months and they are absolutely horrific. It's getting warmer here in England right now um, and to be honest I have my legs out more and I want my legs to look a little bit better. You can make your legs look a little bit better by trimming them. Also, I get really freaking hot. It's like having an extra layer on your legs, right? <laughs> Literally an extra thick layer of, of, of just wool. Like look how, look how thick and long. My hair just in general, like my eyebrows, my hair on my head is thick, right? It's all really thick. Legs are the same. So they gotta go. But this will transform my physique in around about 10 minutes. It is as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you a before. All right, so here is the before. And as you guys can see, where there would usually be like a nice kind of defined sweep if you had a real kind of sweep and teardrop and all that crap, it just isn't there. And in particular, on my calves, I don't have bad calves. Like I've inherited decent calves from the old man. However, you just can't see them. Like there's actually veins all the way down my calf and like on the back of my calf, I've got like this weird squiggle like on my bicep. You just can't see it, right? So here we have a before. A little bit of hammies, hammy kind of action. You can see that there is something there, but I'm, I'm looking forward to I'm, I'm looking forward to my calves the most to be honest because yeah I, I, I just I just like seeing the veins in my calves it's just something I've always liked but right now you can't see them so here goes nothing oh this is too short 
Oh no! <laughs> oh Jesus! I should have gone for a higher grade. I've done the same one as what I do my face. Oh my! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Hang on though, you'll see what I mean. Let me bring this out down the side and immediately you can already, well I can in the mirror anyway, you can see much more. This is a bit too short though, I didn't want them bold, they're pretty much bold. Oh well. Okay. also harder than it looks so ladies if you do this on a regular basis for your significant other or just for yourself i have so much respect for you because this is a difficult difficult task okay boys don't knock it till you try it you might just feel a little bit better about yourself you think if you have a layer of fluff on your arms i do the same to my arms to my stomach um if you have a layer of just fluff over the top you think your veins are coming out like that unless they are ridiculous, like this squiggle all the way down your arm, that ain't happening, okay? Let me tell you, that ain't happening. You gotta get rid if you wanna see it, you know? It's as simple as, you think Mr. Olympia, friggin' Chris Bumstead is stepping on stage with fluffy ankles and, and quads. No, 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 that shit is wiped clean. Oh, this is weird, I haven't done it in months. I'm gonna do both legs, so once I'm done, this is just one calf. Look at all of the hair from just one calf. Guys, all of that, all of this, that is just one calf, but you can see the difference in my legs already. Look, if I turn to the side here, there's a calf there, you know? All of a sudden, there's some in there in comparison. To be fair, the lighting's better on this side, so you, you, you get what I'm saying though, right? Onto the quad. So just to give you an idea, this is actually my weak leg, the leg that got injured, the leg that has been absolutely killing me for the past couple of weeks, um, and that is how it is looking, right? You can see a good amount of definition. This is my good leg. You can still see it, but compare this ladies and gentlemen to this ladies and gentlemen now don't get me wrong i know i'm not mr olympia but it has made a difference whether you agree or not it doesn't matter
told you. I told you it makes a difference. It's not night and day, like, and I've not all of a sudden gained 10 pounds of mass on my legs. However, it makes a big, big difference. I'm not too happy with what I'm actually able to do today because, well, to be honest, because the knee is still playing up. Um, just kind of a maintenance, I've done a few hack squats, lots of lunges, lots of isolation, very slow and steady. But that's about it. I think we'll call it a day there and uh, get it checked out before we go three plates aside on on the hack squat, um, which is not a lot of weight to some, but it's a lot of weight to me. Um, just doesn't feel right, you know. So I'm not going to risk it. I learned that when I was younger. You uh, you risk it with injuries and you come off worse. I'm not going to risk it. I'll take that as it is. Happy with that. Very productive day. Back home we go. I got some what? All right, guys. I've had such a good day. But I'm in such a bad mood. <laughs> I've had the filming with Ultimate Fitness on the rooftop again today, so that was sick. Uh, but I've driven like 10, 15 miles total today, and I spent over three hours in the car. Well, just under three hours, actually, in the car. But to go 10 miles, like, that's mental. Anyway, so I've come home. I've stuck Radio 1 on because good vibes only. And we're going to strip the bed because I am a domestic goddess, mate. After I've done this, I'm going to put the video that you've seen before this, maybe before this, maybe two videos before this. I don't know. I'm going to put the video, a video. I'm going to put a video live. Absolutely phenomenal. Right, it's going in the wash. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. That is what's going on here. The video is restarting on my laptop. <laughs> that is going to be it for today's video. If you have enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, subscribe. If you are new, we have my protein unboxings, the best gym series returning, all sorts of stuff coming in the very near future. So if you are excited for that, let me know something else you want to see in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Try this out. Guys, do not be afraid. Shave your arms, shave your legs. Just keep yourself tame. You know, I'm, I'm off to have a, another shave, actually, in a minute because I did a horrific job last time. So, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you all so much for your support. Together, we will grow, and I will see you all in the next one.